Hey everybody, this is The Fourth here, and in this video I'll be introducing you to a couple types of audio spectrum analyzers. What spectrum analyzers do is break down your sound into a number of frequency bands and display the levels of each band at a given time. In this video I'll be showing you two different types of spectrum analyzers and providing an explanation of how they work. The first one I will take a look at is the audio spectrum analyzer. I will be using SPAN in this video, but there are many different spectrum analyzer plugins with a similar layout. Um, SPAN is a free VST plugin, and there will be a download link on the web page for this video if you want to download it. Spectrum analyzers like this display the information in your audio signal as a dynamic graph with frequency on the horizontal axis. Lower frequencies are on the left, and higher frequencies are on the right. The vertical axis displays the amplitude of your frequency bands. If a certain frequency band has a higher amplitude, it will be louder and show higher on the display. And if that frequency band has a lower amplitude, it will be quieter and appear lower on the display. Time appears on the graph in real time, so as you play a sound or a song, the information displayed on the graph will change as the frequency balance of the song or sound changes. Many spectrum analyzers allow you to adjust the scaling of each axis so that you can observe the information in different ways when needed. This can be helpful if you want to focus on a certain frequency range or get a more specific level reading for certain bands. You may also have the option to change how time is displayed. SPAN allows you to view a real-time average in which you can adjust the average time. an overall average, a real-time max, and an overall max. You can even set it to display two different modes at the same time, which can be very useful. To learn everything that your Spectrum Analyzer plugin offers, I highly recommend you check out the manual. The second type of Spectrum Analyzer I will be looking at in this video is called a Spectrogram. Spectrograms display the same information as the analyzer I've just shown you, but the information is displayed differently. Instead of the axes being frequency and amplitude, they are frequency and time. Amplitude is represented by intensity or color.
Usually frequency is displayed on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis, uh, like they are with this plugin here. But sometimes the two um, are swapped. So sometimes uh, time is on the vertical one and frequency is horizontal. Just like the previous spectrum analyzer, the scaling is often adjustable for some or all of these variables, uh, depending on the plugin. You should definitely check out your manual to learn what all is possible with the spectrogram you use. If you use FL Studio, I covered the WaveCandy spectrogram in depth in the introduction of this tutorial series. Um, this is WaveCandy, what I'm using in this video, and WaveCandy is what I use as a spectrogram uh, in general as well. In the next couple of videos, I will explain why spectrum analyzers are so useful and how they can be used during the mixing process.